he just was talking to me. He came up to me and just started talking to me. UCF senior Alejandra oh Sosa God. is expressing her sadness after losing a fellow knight in June of 2013. The family has asked friends not to release his name or share a photo. I didn't really know what red flags to pick up or um, to what point, you know, do you say, well, hey, like, do you need a little help? The latest report from Florida Suicide Prevention Coalition shows eight people per day are taking their own lives. Director of Counseling Services at UCF, Karen Hoffman, says it's prevalent among students. Suicide for college students is the second leading cause of death. There are different reasons why students or people experience suicidal thoughts. A lot of times they are correlated with a mental health issue. Soso doesn't know what triggered her friend to take his own life, yet being gay could have been a factor. I know in some situations for different people, you may find acceptance among your friends, but maybe not your family or vice versa. You have to take the context of the student, cultural reasons and identity reasons. If you grow up believing that you are not good enough, um, and so such as our gay youth. Experts say there are warning signs to help recognize a suicidal student. Some signs include withdrawal from activities, constant irritability, and feelings of hopelessness. Hoffman explains suicides are a preventable issue. The key is intervention. You have a 72-hour window, a student or a person is thinking about suicide. If you can intervene, the risk of actually completing uh, decreases tremendously. She also shares a four-step plan on how anyone can learn to help save a life from suicide. Ask your, your friend to talk one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. Ask them that they you're concerned about them. Talk about the behaviors that you are concerned about. And then listen. In Orlando, Caitlin Chana, UCF Nightly News.